Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'd like to show you how you can change the title theme and the title background for your RPG Maker game. So by default, the title and the music are okay, but the problem is that they've been seen a million times by every RPG Maker game in the history of time, because they're the defaults. So this is basically what you're looking at. It's okay, but we probably want to change that. So in order to do that, we have to go up to Tools, Database, and you're looking for the system tab. It's uh, defaulted back to the system tab for me because that's where I was last. But you're probably going to start on actors. So come down to system. And from here you'll see a lot of defaults that you can set for the game. Including the starting party. Uh, the music that plays at certain events during your game. And the title screen image. So double click on title for music. And you'll be given this dialogue where you can choose a theme. Now, uh, most of these are the music soundtracks that come with the RPG Maker, uh, I guess, uh, package. But um, right here, Hidden Past, is actually a track I converted beforehand by Kevin MacLeod, who likes to make Creative Commons music. Um, so any music that you want to include in the game, you just need to convert it to a .og file, or uh, .og vorbis, and place it in the name of your game, audio BGM and right in here so hidden past by Kevin McLeod and you can convert that using audacity if you need a program to do that so let's go ahead and hit OK there and now in the bottom right hand corner we can change the title screen image and uh, yeah we'll just choose something kind of whatever for now um, fountains seems okay uh, I was going with hexagram beforehand so we'll just put that for right now of course to get this perfect, you're probably going to need to uh, play around with it a lot and maybe get your own custom art going. But uh, with that said, just hit apply and OK. And now we can go ahead and start up the game once again and see how the new title screen looks and sounds. Right. Alright, so you get the idea. Um, like I said, probably need to put more work into it really make sure that it fits in all aspects both visually and audio but that's the basic idea of how you do it so i've been chris thank you for watching i hope this helped you out feel free to check out my patreon and i'll see you in my next video